Greetings, this is a continuation of the series of uh, constructing um, return series, uh, the part one, uh, we were constructing or combining the data of four stocks and as well as the market portfolio and as well as the interest rates. Uh, the next part that we did is actually part two, uh, is the combining and also plotting of the uh, uh, performing scatter plots of the four stocks that we downloaded as well as uh, doing a time series or based uh, to 1000 okay okay the next part that we're going to do is actually performing a time series plots of the returns of uh, all on the same chart of the four selected companies as well as the market in order to construct um, the time series of returns uh, we come back to the data okay the data sheet that we have originally which is uh, which contains the raw data okay and this part is the uh, data uh, of the monthly returns and last part here is the uh, data or all of these uh, stocks rebased to a thousand okay so in the construction of this um, basically time series basically what we need to do is highlight the four stocks as well as the market okay the STI in this case uh, and the date okay highlight all of these uh, and then select line graph okay uh, and again have this in the new sheet call it time series of the returns okay we want to actually show the returns of individual stocks so once you actually have it plotted out this is what it will look like um, and you can see some of the extremities here if you have a look at it is Wheelock and also uh, the slightly reddish one here is Suntech okay so the cross is Wheelock Suntech is the um, dark brown okay so if you look at this um, there's actually a sharp drop here of Wheelock and there's also another sharp drop of Suntech there's an extremities of uh, rally here which is Wheelock and that one is actually Suntech now if we just go back to our scatter plot of uh, linear regression if you look at Suntech uh, the beta is 1.3831 and Wheelock is 1.3683 now if we look at these data here uh, it actually coincide with the beta that we calculated okay the beta of more than one meaning that is actually more risky than the than the market by around 38 percent okay so if I just drag this across here uh, this is time series returns and this one here I'll just call it time series okay as well uh, except this one you call these prices all right so uh, this is what you use to actually compare uh, all of these so this is uh, part a of the actual um, assignment so you just need to go back and actually comment on all of these